position of affective emotions and karmas. Yeah? Karmas, I'm sure by now you all know there are different types of karmas, yeah? Good karmas, bad karmas, neutral karmas, yes? And uh, then affective emotions, well, it's just basically a very unstable, unstable um, uh, state of, of the mind. So these three, it's, um, when they're mixed, um, then it, it, brings, it brings all kinds of um, shapes and objects and colors and so on, yeah? So our right now physical body is that of actually the compositions of those two, uh, mainly right now, yes? And, um, but yet, it has that uh, um, wondrous tinge of, of, of merit, of, um, of the, of the Buddhicitta, one could say, yes? And due to that, um, we as, you know, the, the, a few, yeah? Within this whole of samsara, whole of samsara, within this whole planet, globe, yes, the few that we have right here, all of us, um, is due to that very bodhicitta, due to that very um, awareness and accumulation of merit, and that brought us, that brought us um, this coming up together, and also the realization uh, of, you know, being able to reflect on things and understand. But otherwise, this uh, physical form that we ha have personally, yes, as well as the, the one that we can experience everything, yeah? The outside, uh, um, the outer form, let's say, the rest of the outer form. The main outer form would be this, this, this very tangible body, and the rest would be, like for example, this temple, or this very floor, or this very table, all of it, or the whole world, yeah? So, um, just like that, then outer, inner, and secret, well, the, the, the list goes on forever, but then in a more practical or more direct um, way of understanding is that, yes, then all of these are compositions of forms, matters, uh, energies, protons, neutrons, what, is, what else, atoms, Quirk, yes, the smallest thing that, that we have found so far, yeah? Who knows, maybe after a few months or after a few years, we will find even things that are much smaller than that, yeah? Already, uh, in terms of, you know, big ones, we've, we are already um, going about it uh, quite nicely, yeah? We, we are finding super giant Earths and uh, super planets and, and supernovas and whatever. <laughs> yeah, we're discovering it every day. So, this, mm, this tells us that uh, there is really, in a way, no limit, yeah? No limit to the idea of big and small, or long or short. Uh, all, of, all of this is really nothing but an idea. Uh, if it was an idea, if it, if, if it was more than an idea, if it was a reality, then um, probably um, after the discovery of atom, we won't have found anything smaller than that. But we do. And we found the quirk. Sorry, quirk. How does it go? Quirk. Quark. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So quirk. Quark. Yeah, outside people you know, must be listening to us like, what are they doing? <laughs> it is supposed to be a temple. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> yes, so th really there is no really a limit to, uh, to actually any of our ideas, any experience of, of this mind. And therefore, it brings the uh, second uh, that um, 
No, the, second. the third one, yeah, the uh, all phenomena being completely self, uh, free of self, and for that answer of of ideas, for those answer of of those ideas, the it is the third one the, that all you know, phenomena are free of self. Um, this idea of 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 a, of a size of, of 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 any object, let's say, or, or of any circumstance. Or of any phenomena, um, we call that either I don't know, um, big, let's say, yeah. Uh, and the, this idea of big is, um, how do I say? When we call it big, and, we th and when we have this idea of uh, that it's big, and then we think that th that it is big, then we are just m more and more encouraging this uh, this. Uh, and this mind to um, to somehow uh, to not reinstate, but let's say to to enforce that there is a self, yes, over and over again. And um, so, the more we do it, the more the more it seems like this is this is the reality, and there's there's nothing beyond it. So that's why what we have to do is just really analyze it. We don't have to destroy it or anything. We don't have to. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Damn it! We don't have to, but uh, we just have. All we have to do is just to see for itself. Yeah, these compounded things, compounded uh, phenomena. Yes, and so um, in Tibetan, the, the compounded I think is is known as, is uh, written as nduji. I think yes, nduji, nduji tanje metapa. So nduji. Uh, for that, probably compounded is a very good interpretation. Yeah, meaning like uh, um, elements of of the phenomena, you know, being you know through through its cause and conditions having formed together. Yeah, but itself is a change. Yeah, to form is a change, and then to of course to to deform or to dissolve is also a change. So from the very beginning, when there is already a form. It's understood. It's given without without even saying it that it is already a change. That's why we don't. That's something that you know. It's quite hard for us to digest. 